Hello, I'm Bishop Jeff Haynes, Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, and welcome to our Sunday Reflection. I've been a priest over 35 years, and so I've participated in quite a few wedding liturgies and attended many wedding receptions. They've all been memorable, but there's one in particular I'll never forget, and I want to share the story of that, of that wedding reception. You know, normally when I'm at a wedding reception, right before the dinner, uh, there's a toast that's given, uh, sometimes by the, the best man, sometimes by the maid or matron of honor. But what was unique about this wedding was the toast was given by the father, the father of the groom. And so he raised his glass and he looked at his son and, and new daughter-in-law and he said to them, you know, a lot of people at this time in giving a toast would wish you happiness. And he said, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, happiness is an emotion. It's a feeling. It comes and it goes. And oftentimes it's, you know, it, it's based on circumstances beyond our control. So I'm not going to wish you happiness. I'm going to wish you joy. Because joy is grounded in the presence of the Lord. And that can never be taken away. It never goes away when you're close to the Lord. And so I wish you joy. And joy is a theme for this third Sunday of Advent. It's often called Gaudete Sunday. That's a Latin word which means rejoice. And we're rejoicing because we're more than halfway on the journey of Advent towards Christmas. And so we show that joy in a number of ways. Uh, we change the colors on our Advent wreath instead of the purple candles, which are more penitential. We have a rose-colored or a pink-colored candle. And the priest often dons a vestment that's also rose-colored. Again, to have that excitement about the nearness of the Lord. Now, in this very difficult year of 2020, with the pandemic and all of the challenges and the struggles and often tragedy that has come along with it, we might say, well, where's the rejoicing in the world now? Is, can it be there? Well, our readings today speak powerfully to that. Because they all speak of a joy grounded in the presence of the Spirit of the Lord, even in the most difficult of times. The first reading comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 61. And it was a time when Israel was trying to rebuild after the exile. And they had to rebuild not only the nation and the land, but also their temple. Things were not going well. And yet, the prophet Isaiah speaks a word of joy. He says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and he, I'm going to bring glad tidings to the poor and to heal the brokenhearted. And because of that, the Spirit being with him, he can say, I rejoice heartily in the Lord. The second reading comes from the first letter to the Thessalonians, and that community was struggling at the time as well. They were anxious about many things, and one of them was the, the end of the world. Was it going to happen soon? Was it going to happen at all? They were very distraught about it, and yet St. Paul writes to them about joy. In fact, he says, the Spirit is with us. The Spirit will help us. We can retain what is good. We can uh, refrain from doing evil, and he says, we can rejoice always. And then there's our gospel, which comes from the first chapter of the, the good news of John. And, you know, St. John the Baptist is not always the most, you know, joyful of guys. He's kind of irascible. But here he's, he's filled with a, a vigor and a, and, a, and a vibrancy and a joy because he knows the coming one, one greater than him, will soon be there. And he says he will bring us light, a light that will dispel the darkness and that darkness won't overcome it. And so even though these are difficult times, we truly can enter into Gaudete Sunday, this third Sunday of Advent, because the Spirit of the Lord is with us. The Lord is near. And so I wish to all of you, I wish you joy. Thank you for joining us today. We invite you to return next uh, Sunday for another reflection. In the meantime, be safe, stay healthy, and God bless you.